Right then, the video I have to make and the video I just really was dreading when I saw the news yesterday. I'm really sorry I didn't get the video out yesterday. I was busy with work. But it looks like Ashley Young is departing Aston Villa. Uh, his final farewell. And I'm gutted about this one. I uh, also wanted to say thank you very much for all of the support from the previous video. Uh, just hitting about 4,000 subscri 4, subscribers, bloody hell, I'll be in dream landing. 4,000 views, um, and it looks like we are nearly there at 1,000 subscribers. So thanks for the support, and if we can get to 1,000 very soon, there will be a big video on the channel. So yeah, look forward to that. But talk about Ashley Young, oh, it's sad, isn't it? it it's just, it's, I'm gutted because there's so many reasons for him to stay. There's so many reasons for him to go. I mean... He's 37, 38, he's a player and he, there's such there's a player there and I don't think this is the end of him. I don't think he's going to ret retire. I think he will go to another club and whoever has him will be very lucky and I don't think he'll be any small club. I think there'll be a few big ones after. I'm not saying like the likes of PSG or Man City, you know what I mean? It's like biggish clubs and um, yeah, whoever has him would be very lucky in my opinion but I just wanted to get this video out, show the appreciation because we've got a lot to thank him for coming back to us under Dean Smith in a season that didn't start well and didn't end well, let's be honest, but he was one of the the lights, I guess you could say, the, one of the, the, the players that you can sort of rely on when he starts, you ain't really worrying or anything, there's never been a time when I'm watching Ashley Young and I'm like worrying about his age, his athleticness he's uh uh his form or anything it's just he's always just been at a level where you can be happy with but this season he's it's like he's hit a different level every game he's played it's just been magnificent let's just say that even under Steven Gerrard the 1-1 one -one draw against Man City it was absolutely sensational it, if it weren't for him we wouldn't have scored that equaliser um and obviously he scored the equaliser against Nottingham Forest, which is a very hard place to go, by the way. So, you know, it's just been amazing. Obviously, at that time, not too long ago, because the season's only just ended, but the 10-game run we went on, uh, we suffered some injuries, and he stepped up, you know, on the starting lineup, and we couldn't have asked for any more from him. He just, it just, it was everywhere, weren't he? But, oh, it's just sad. I am gutted that we have to say goodbye. I mean... There's always that chance he could stick around like for like a six months and a season or some sort of contract like that. And I'd be all for it. I would, I'd absolutely love to see him play for us in Europe. I'd absolutely love that. But it does look like we're saying goodbye to him now. And yeah, any other club who are interested in with him. Because I, I know there's a few of them who are out there. They'd be lucky to have him. And, um, you know, it's not just the play again. It's the... It's the experience he brings, and I'm sure he'll rub off the youngsters. Like I'm sure he's had an effect with Jacob Ramsey because um, he, he is that sort of player. But yeah, I just wanted to get this video out. I do apologise I didn't get it out, you know, when the news came out because I was busy at the time. But oh, it is sad news. But yeah, obviously the next few weeks we should be getting some transfer news. And I uh, just wanted to say, once the transfer news is confirmed, there won't be any bullshit on this channel. There will be videos out. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Of the Villa, or the Pride of Villa. We'll see you in the next video.